Tokarara Secondary School in the Mosby Northwest Electorate is one of the largest schools in the National Capital District with classes from grades 7 to 12. Despite resuming classes today after the two weeks lockdown, its 181 grade 12 students, like all upper secondary schools in NCD, jumped right into the written expression examination, joining the 32,000 plus students across the country. For all written expression examinations, a study booklet is usually distributed a week prior to the exam. Students in NCD had that information booklet distributed during the last week of the lockdown. With public transportation halted during that week, some students obtained their booklets three or four days prior to the examination day. Teachers expressed their concerns off camera about the students' focus and whether those that studied the booklet for just two days would fully understand what is in the booklet. Tokarara Secondary School Principal Gabriel Manga said they have doubled the workload for grade 12 students during the two lockdown periods to prepare them for this exam. They just hope they get the results they are hoping for. We usually have mock exams to prepare them, uh, apart from the teaching itself. Uh, we had one, one mock exam, and uh, the teachers have been giving pl them plenty of work, like, like I said. Uh, I think they've been sufficiently prepared for the, for the exam. We're hoping for good results. The students, on the other hand, were happy with the topic of the exam and said it was an individual commitment that each had to make to study well for this important exam. About this lockdown, it has tremendously affected how we have prepared. And it, it has given us a lot of challenges over the, over the seven day for the preparation day for the exam. But I believe most of us uh, managed to I get along, get on track. And we were told to go through the booklets during the one week lockdown period. I was uh, well prepared and I came, I was really happy about the topic. Because of the bus transport, I was, I, I came late to get my booklet, but otherwise it's, it's a general question. Uh, the topic was okay, it was, it's okay because we experience it every day, so I think it's okay and every student understand it, so I think we all did it well. Uh, use and accessibility of mobile phone on internet to uh, our mobile phone, yeah. It's, it's a day-to-day -day thing. So I believe most of the students are really, uh, they, they, they've done really bad again. In terms of the academic and catching up on lost time, the school has increased the number of periods per lessons from the previously 8 to 10. On a normal school day, we'll have only have eight periods. But we, we, we've gone to the extent of adding two more periods. Uh, there'll be a period after after <coughs> the, the lunch, uh, will, which will be for 40 minutes, and that period will be used for, for remedial work or for teachers who feel that uh, they've lagged behind in their lessons, so they'll be using those, those periods to help their students to catch up on, on lost uh, Tokarara Secondary School, like all schools throughout the country, has adjusted to the new normal, encouraging students and teachers to always wear face masks and regular washing of hands. At this time, after the second lockdown, uh, we're requiring every one of our students who are coming to the school ground to have a, to have a face mask like this. Uh, it's the responsibility of their parents. At the gate, there is a, their, their hands are sanitized. Uh, there are three wash basins uh, around the school. Uh, every class has a, has a hand sanitizing bottle, and uh, uh, we're always telling them to, you know, practice the COVID-19 protocols. Shamin Poriambeb, National MTV News.